Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to model this product using Blender and achieve a realistic result. So without further ado, let's get started. Ok, first delete everything and go to the bottle maker add-on panel. Of course you can follow this tutorial without having the add-on, but this add-on makes the process much simpler and faster. For greater precision, import reference image using the image as a plane add-on in preferences and then align it with the model. This allows you for easy adjustment of the model and ensures precise modeling. Now, you can easily align the model with the reference image by adjusting the radius and height options of the add-on. Ok, now after finishing the model adjustment, apply it and switch to edit mode to add more detail. Now add a buffer modifier to achieve much cleaner and realistic edges on the model. Next, duplicate the model in edit mode and scale it slightly. This part will represent the inside of the bottle. Separate this part from the rest for now, so that you can model it easily according to the shape of the model. Now join the two parts by pressing Ctrl J and switch to edit mode to connect the two models at the edges on the top. Now we will create the top part of the model. To do this simply add a cylinder and follow the reference image. For this part, here is an asset of cups that I created and use all the time in my projects. You can download them for free if you want, the link is in the video description. Next step, we will create the material for the bottle. You can see that the model already has a default material when it was imported. To achieve the material, add the texture coordinate node and connect the object socket to the separate XYZ node. And then, add the color ramp node to the Z axis of the separate XYZ node to modify the color. Now, let's add the bottle's label. Here, I have already prepared it in advance on Photoshop. 
Prefabri import the image in PNG format facilitate texturing. After that, align it well with the reference image. Then, add the shrink wrap modifier to easily stick the label into the bottle. You can see here that the label is not sticking well. To fix this, add an over shriek wrap modifier and we are done. The next step is to create the liquid inside the bottle. It's very simple. Like in the previous method, just select the inside of the bottle, then duplicate it and separate it from the rest of the model. Resize it by pressing alt S in edit mode. After that, apply some small rectification according to the liquid you want. You can see here that the liquid model has inverted faces. To fix this, switch to edit mode and press shift N to recalculate normals. And there we go. All of the red faces are now blue. Which is correct. To add bubble effects to the liquid, it's very simple. Here is a snapshot of geometry nodes I created for this project. The process of this creation is in a time lapse, but you can pause the video if you wish to replicate it. To create the bottle's pipette, we will simply use a cylinder and delete its two separate faces. And to create the shadow material for the pipette, first mix a principal BSDF node with transparent BSDF node. And then mix that with a translucent PSDF node. Okay, here's the time lapse process of creating the scene. You can see several different assets that I use for my random scenes. I created this bag to facilitate scene creation for my product design projects. You can get them through the link in the description if you want.
Thank you for watching the video until the end and I hope it was very helpful to you. See you next time for new tutorials.